We reopened the British Embassy in Tehran in August 2015. That's almost exactly two years ago. And since then, we've made a lot of progress. Clearly, the uh, agreement of the JCPOA, the Bajan, was uh, an important step in uh, allowing us to make this uh, renewed uh, engagement with, with Iran. Um, and in that time, we have been obviously re-establishing the embassy here and all its activities and working uh, increasingly closely with the Iranian government um, and business sector to develop the relations between the two countries. I'm hopeful that uh, we will continue to see um, progress in, right across the board and particularly in the uh, business relations between our two countries. Well, the British government congratulated President Rouhani on his re-election and we sent a strong delegation led by the Minister for the Middle East and North Africa, Alistair Burt, yeah. uh, to uh, represent the United Kingdom at those ceremonies. And I think that was indicative of the positive spirit uh, of engagement that the British government intends to pursue with uh, Iran. The political will is there from the UK, based on the JCPOA, which we are fully committed to, and we hope to build the relationship with President Rouhani's government over the coming months and years. I think um, we have made a lot of progress on the trade front in the two years we've been back. Mm -hmm. The trade figures reflect that. Uh, they are increasing at a very uh, steep uh, trajectory and uh, I think it could be steeper. I think they, there is a market and an appetite for more British business engagement mm -hmm. and I hope in the uh, months and years to come we will see British businesses playing a bigger role in those areas. So my main objective is to build relationships to uh, increase understanding between Tehran and London and our governments so that uh, we can find more common ground, including on regional issues where at the moment uh, we have quite big differences in our policy and approaches, uh, which does cause problems. So I'm hopeful that as we build our relationship, we can make progress in all these areas. I think Iran is one of those countries where actually the uh, UK's position and relationship with the European Union um, will not change uh, things significantly. Uh, we work very closely with our European partners, particularly uh, those who are involved in negotiating the JCPOA. Um, that will continue and I think uh, trading relations with Iran um, will not be greatly affected by, by Brexit either. It's certainly true that Iran and the United Kingdom have a shared experience of terrorism and uh, the need to combat it, particularly uh, IS, Daesh, and the British government uh, sent uh, messages of sympathy and uh, solidarity to the Iranian people at the time of the terrorist attacks here uh, a couple of months ago. We also have had a very difficult summer in the United Kingdom with terrorist attacks in Manchester and London. So th there is a shared understanding of the challenge and the need to do more to combat terrorism. I can't speak for the uh, government of the United States of America. The British government, however, is fully committed to the JCPOA Bajan and to its successful implementation. Uh, we are working hard with all our partners and with Iran to make a success of the uh, JCPOA and um, we will continue to engage all our partners to that end. Building up of commercial links between Iran and the uh, international uh, economy is an essential part of making the JCPOA work. Uh, both for the people of Iran and to create greater stability um, within, within the region and to build confidence in the relationship between Iran and its international partners including the United Kingdom. Um, banking uh, and financial services are clearly required in order to allow business to operate effectively and uh, although the decisions of course uh, on whether to offer financial services depend on private institutions, their commercial decisions, and British government and other governments do not have a great deal of influence, if any, over those decisions. At the same time, um, my government does recognise the need to make progress and to build confidence uh, in institutions and banks dealing with financial services to facilitate the success of the JCPOA. So we are talking to banks and other partners in, the, in that sector to try and encourage them to engage more with Iran in doing business. When the British Embassy was closed for four years until August 2015, two years ago, 
Um, we obviously didn't operate a, a visa service inside uh, Iran for Iranians. Um, and Iranians could get visas by going to other regional centers such as Dubai or Istanbul to get their, their visas for the United Kingdom. Um, in January and February 2016, we reopened a visa service, a visa application center, uh, offering 150 appointments a week for Iranians to obtain visas for the UK. That's a very small figure compared to what we were doing before the uh, closure of the embassy in 2011. I'm confident that over time we will be able to gradually increase the number of visas we offer in Tehran, which will help build the uh, relationship between the two countries.